All right, so I've, I've, I've written a three-digit number for A and a three-digit number for B. By the way, this is your unit's position. And I showed a product. I don't know how many digits are in AB, okay? I don't know how many the product is. I just know we're trying to figure out if this unit's digit, the very last far one on the right, if it's greater than five. All right, let's look at clue one. Clue one says in A, the unit's digit is four. Well, so what? It doesn't tell me anything about five, what B is, so I can't make a, I can't make a, a conclusion about A times B. Two. The unit's digit of B is seven, same deal. It tells me that this is a seven, but it doesn't tell me what anything about A, so that doesn't work. So now let's put both of them together. And that's gonna work because we know this last digit's four, this last digit's seven, and when you multiply these, these, you know, you stack them on top of each other just like I have them, you know, number, number, four, times number number seven. When you multiply these, you get seven times four is 28. You carry that two, but we know right now that the units digit is gonna be an eight. So it's greater than five. So the answer is C.